Okay guys, if you watch this video, it'll show you hopefully a little bit more as to how to complete the maths investigation. So it starts off talking about how you're in charge of organising the school camp for Year 5, and it's going to be at Lee's Recreational Farm in Yarra Junction, Victoria. You're going to plan the timetable, prepare a what to bring list, organise group activities, design a board game for a games night. You leave at 9am on Monday and come back at 3.30 on Wednesday. So the first task, it says sketch a simple map of Victoria to show parents where students will be going. So what I do is get my pencil, draw a little map of Victoria, sort of goes off to the side here, comes up a little bit and then comes down like that. Actually sketch it with your pencil. Have a look at Google Maps. It might give you some help. Then looking at Google Maps, after you've drawn your little sketched map, have a look at where Yarrow Primary School would be. So it's, say for example, it's about here. We're in Croydon North. All you have to do is just put a little dot there and say Croydon North. And then Yarra Junction is the name of a place out further in the east. Find Yarra Junction on Google Maps, put a dot there and write Yarra Junction. Then it says mark the main roads. So what I do is get onto Google Maps and I would use the directions tool. And if you need help doing that, um, just Google it. It's really quite easy. Use the directions tool to find out how and what it would look like on Google Maps to travel from Croydon North out to Yarra Junction and just draw the road. That's for the second one. Investigate how long it would take to travel by bus. Again, you can do that on Google Maps. With the directions, if you say start at Yarra Road Primary School, so say for example this is the computer screen here, Google Maps is here, up in the top left hand corner you would type in that you'd um, click on, a, I think it's a little blue diamond, with an arrow on it, you would click on um, the top one and say Yarrow Primary School and then the one underneath just write um, Yarra Junction and then hit enter and it will actually tell you how long it will take to travel from Yarrow Primary School to Yarra Junction by car. It defaults to by car. You can even um, click on a little picture of a bicycle and it'll tell you how long it'll take on a bike as well and I think even walking. So let's turn the page. Next page. What you've got to do here is um, pretty much fill out this timetable. All right. And it says there are four activities, orienteering, canoeing, completing, uh, completing an adventure course and cubby building. It says you've got to somehow fit those activities there into these timetables here, just the empty spaces because the grayed out spaces are already used. All right, so it says decide a name for each group. I just write the names of the groups down here. So it could be simple as orange, blue, yellow, green, or you could have the crazy adventurers, the annoying adventurers, the wonderful adventurers, so on and so forth. All right, then it says students will need to spend some time writing in their camp journals. This one makes it a little bit tricky and also helping in the camp kitchen because both of those only take one hour and having some free time takes two hours. Whereas each of these blocks here, these blocks here have been divided into three hour blocks from 9am till 12, right? And remembering that up here, all the activities last for three hours. So those would be good times to do the activities of orienteering, canoeing, adventure course, and cubby building. These ones here are only one, two, three, four. They're also three hour blocks. These ones here are only two hour blocks. But if you make this one an activity, that one an activity, that one an activity, and that one an activity, then you'll be able to say, okay, I also need to split these ones up to also allow for the other activities of um, helping in the kitchen and also having some free time. Um, I'd probably do free time before dinner. That would make good sense. And it actually says here, um, having some free time total two hours. So the total of two hours, so what I do is I'd split these two up into one hour time slots. 
Okay, so they're currently two hours. You'll need to split them into one hour time slots. So they've got some free time before dinner. I can't really tell you much more than that. You need to discover the rest on your own. See how you go. Okay, this one is where you would do your what to bring list for the students. And it says um, it should include things like your school uh, sorry, it should incl include things like your clothing and any other things that they need to bring. So clothing, maybe they need to bring um, a bag of lollies to share. Maybe they need to bring a backpack to carry their snack and drink bottle on the first day. Um, sleeping bags, pillows, all those kinds of things. So that's where you would do your list for those things. And then draw a picture of a bag, right, that you think in real life would be big enough to carry all the things. So it might be a bag that's about one meter long by about 30 centimeters wide and about 30 centimeters high. And just draw it, draw the picture of the bag, show that it's one meter long, 30 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters high. All right, and this one down the bottom, you're just designing a board game that they get to play and, um, it can be a real simple board game and just write the instructions to play the board game. And that's pretty much it, guys. See how you go with it.